Roger Mogul, Holly Day, Impact Fitness of Warner Robins, Georgia. Hope you guys had a great Labor Day weekend. Uh, we did as well. This week we want to focus on the mindset principle of discipline. Okay, and you've probably heard of this before. You cannot out-train bad nutrition, meaning no matter how hard you're working out, you cannot out-train eating bad. I hear people say this all the time after they eat bad. Well, I'm going to go run afterwards, so it'll be okay. It doesn't work that way. Your body doesn't work that way. That's ridiculous. you got to get your nutrition under control and eat balanced. And we'll talk about that if you make an appointment with me. We'll sit down and get a game plan together. The reason why I'm bringing this up now is because we know what's upon us. Football season and then all the festivities of fall and right into the holidays. The average American gains 5 to 12 pounds in just the next four months or so, okay? So we, we don't want to fall into that trap. You don't have to follow in, fall into it, but you're going to have to get a game plan together. Let's get disciplined. Sit down with me. We'll, we'll make an appointment to go over all this stuff if you haven't already done so. Um, and that way you guys cannot fall into the trap of gaining 5 to 12 pounds in the next 4 to 5 months, okay? All right, come in with a great attitude. we got a great workout this week. We're going to change up the format on you just a little bit. We'll tell you about it when you get here. It's going to be a little shorter workout as far as how long the workout takes, but it's going to actually be more intense. <laughs> See you soon. All right, first station. You're just going to work that core. you got your feet up. Your back is flat on the ground. No curve in your back. No lumbar tilt. And you got the kettlebell, and you're reaching with your arms straight, relaxing your head at the bottom each time so you don't have neck strain. All right, you got one foot on the step. You're getting into a slight lunge position with a straight leg, ball of your foot on the slider, right hand, right foot on the slider, right hand has the rope, and you're just gonna stay in this lunge and underlay the rope. Okay. All right, third, third station on the core trainer. You're gonna hold it about chest high, elbows underneath, and you're on the balls of your feet. Notice that she's not going down all the way and she's not coming up all the way. Sometimes this is called a pulse, where you just stay in it in a middle range of motion. All right, on the wall of death, you're going to pull yourself up, fold your elbow over, and kind of look down at the ground when you do it, so you really get a good torque. Obviously, you can adjust this to your fitness level by moving backwards. All right, ball of chest high, hook your feet around the other ball so you got a stable point. Sit up, slam it, keep it chest high. One vertebrae at a time to the ground, roll your back down, don't plop down, explode up, hit the wall. Alright, you got one hand on the step, one hand on the slider, you're going to slide out into a push up, slide it back, touch the step. Obviously if this is too intense for you, just go to your knees, hips down, rip it out. <laughs> 